Bing, 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 bing. Uh, it is the Kent Beck Scrum. It is a Tuesday. Uh, I'll go first time. I uh, went last, last time. Um, what have I been doing? Uh, yeah, I've been continuing to review the different MediaWiki hosting options. Um, it's it's fairly clear that MediaWiki is the way to go for the NHS project. Uh, I think that's fairly stable. I just, gosh, there's still um, a lot of things to check, and I'm kind of arming and arming between hosting it ourselves and being on the hook for like doing the hosting management and using a third party, which there are question marks about, and we might pay lots of money. Um, ironically, I've found a group that's called Mirahees that will host your media wiki for free. And ironically, they've been providing the better service than any of the paid versions so far. Um, but of course, their terms and conditions are ha ha. So, um, you know, we can't, um, can't necessarily rely on them for, for an important project. Um, but uh, it's interesting to see the range of available things. Uh, other things that I have achieved today include reaching out to all the premium folks. Um, yeah, that's, that's a it's big, reaching out to premium folks, doing um, charity um, stuff. I've, uh, we've, we've off-boarded Thomas and on-boarded Brian as a trustee, um, admin things. Uh, coming up, we've got the Redeemify uh, meeting. I think, yeah, just <sighs> must get all the stuff done with the NHS product, not blocked by anything, but there's going to be this big change, presumably in the Google Hangouts API tomorrow. Oh, yes, and there's loads of changes I need to make to the, the MOOC that gets re-released very soon, and there's a lot to do. So I will stop talking there and uh, go over to Raphael and ask Raphael, how are things going with you, and is anything having the audacity to block you? Uh, slowly, slowly. Um, I wouldn't mind pairing with somebody a little bit more. I feel like... Not a lot. There's some activity going on. With yeah. AC motor. It's not a lot. Uh, I kind of probably need a bit of a prompt to organize myself a little bit. And I'm wondering sure. if maybe pairing with somebody mm -hmm. is the way to go. The question is, well, then who? Sure. Uh, and yeah, so I mean, with the Docker stuff, I, I, I've kind of looked up a little bit of the documentation. Um, and I've put in a, I think I've completed the GitHub changes, uh, excuse me, the repository. Let me start again. I've finished an issue, but I haven't put it in for a pull request. And I should probably put it in for a pull request okay. on Vota. Mm -hmm. uh, just in the storage of how do you store a vote? So only one vote per person. Mm -hmm. I have it gets updated. It's just that one vote that gets updated rather than maintaining a list of votes. Right, right, right. So, um, yeah, so that's where I'm at at the moment. And, and I've got a job interview tomorrow, which I'm scared and excited about all at the same time. So, Good luck with that. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, let's see if we can't sort out some some pairing and some some things. But for me, the key the key thing is we just we need to. Uh, I mean, I'm getting messages about. Uh, oh gosh, what is it? The Digital Ocean having run out of funds, and um, we need to just get the whole loop onto Azure uh, and sort it. But so maybe we can look at oh, that. Okay. At the end of the Excuse me, I was confusing the two. Not sure. Yeah. No worries. Uh, Matt, how are things going with you? Pretty good. Um, we're the, still looking a little more at that website one activities and doing job search stuff, which. Mm -hmm. Guided me a little bit, got on hired, mm -hmm. re, uh, told him to reassess my uh, profile. Indeed, indeed. <laughs> I was going to try to suggest somebody recommend me because you get like $1,400 or something if you prefer, yeah. something, but I already had, had an account. Mm. Oh, well. Well, you're going to create a new one, new, new identity. Yeah, new I don't know. I don't know. But uh, yeah, that's it for now. Nothing's blocking me. Okay. Good way. show. Yeah, good show. Yeah. I, well, it. Uh, yes. Well, then that's that's our. our I'll note also, uh, Matt. You've done some great work with the uh, icons. Oh so yeah. We've now got mentor premium premium extra um, icons that people can add, set their status to, and and you know, like a badge, wear their uh, premium agile venture status on there. On that, it, it strikes me just from the discussion there that uh, you know Raphael and Matt, you're both in the job search. There, you're both trying to keep your hand in with the coding and so on. That you know you could be pairing with with each other. Um, Matt, you were just using the async voter this morning, 
Um, and uh, so there's a kind of a bit of a, you know. Um, you need help organizing yourself. That's, I'm good at, that's what I kind of want to do. <laughs> yeah, you. yeah. I mean, and in some ways, it's sort of what Agile Ventures is supposed to be about, is, is like, you know, to be a place to kind of connect up with the people who are also doing that job search and, you know, professional development and moving up and uh, and so on and so forth. So um, I, I guess I feel like that, I mean, the, the key thing that I would see as the block for the Async Voter Project is that we, um, I guess we, we do have the staging and, and, and production for um, Digital Ocean, but we have this, you know, we need to move the funds over. I mean, I, mean, I, I like the, the short term fix. I mean, DigitalOcean just seems to be sending a reminder saying you're out of balance. I could just give them PayPal money to get them, you know, like we, we've got some funds, um, but it's, you know, it would be really nice to have completed this, um, this changeover that we've been trying to do. Um, so Aresh did this thing that we were trying to do last week, right? Uh, Raphael, we were trying to get you set up with uh, Doku. So he, he, I asked him to do it and even like make sure that he he showed us how to do it. So we can see here in the Slack that he uh, came in. He he SSH in his route there. I don't know if I was even necessarily able to do that, but anyway, then he took. I think this is your key that you shared with me. He did this thing and. I guess it worked for him. I'm not sure. Uh, anyway, he's he's now saying your key was added. Um, I guess I want to make sure that this this the way that Arash did it, so that we can do it for other people in future, gets copied over into the wiki. Um, is is one thing. The other thing is yeah. So now, have you been able to do an operation, Raphael, that confirms that you have access to this? And do you know what operation that would be? And you're muted. Oh, we can't hear what you're saying because you're muted. Can you unmute him? Uh, I could try. And ah, unmute him. Sorry. <laughs> That's right. You can see my lips moving, but I can see lips moving. Yes, I, I don't have the lip reading skills to 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 to, to cover. Uh, but uh, yes, go, go ahead. What, what were you What were you saying? So uh, I've not tried any commands yet. I'm still a bit painfully uh, green with Docker. Uh, with the, oh, and by, by the way, you're saying Docker, which is D O C K E R, which is a different thing from Doku, which is what we're using. Oh, so that's hey. kind of an important. I mean. Not that it's funny because we have in the marketing meeting the, 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 the one of the intern keeps calling the newsletter a newspaper, which and I, and I correct her and then I don't know what's in a name would rose by but so we've got these uh, Docker, that's important. So there's Docker, which I don't know that I really understand do what Docker is, um, uh, I, or its relationship to Vagrant. I think we've had some people doing Docker stuff for us. I'm not even sure. But so the thing that we've got that um, a rash set up for us is Doku. Not sure. Which is this this different thing, which kind of basically gives us like the command line interface that like Heroku has, um, but you know, without the web web interface. And so we can kind of run as as Arash describes it, a poor man's Heroku, so to speak, on Azure or AWS. Or digital ocean infrastructure, and yep. so the yeah, what we've got is that the um, so this is to, to, to you, Matt. So the um, you know when, when you were doing this this voter missing activity thing this morning, this was hitting our um, system, the, the the Slack integrated command what's it that's running on digital ocean, and costing costing us uh, yes. But so what we want to do is get onto Azure, and we've done almost all of it. But I, but it's not quite fixed. So we've got, we've got this wiki here that uh, Aresh wrote up. I guess what I will just quickly do, will I? We're going up to async voter here. Um, run it up. Yep. What we need, and maybe what you could do for me, Raphael, is. I mean, like he's got this authorizing users that's specific to Digital Ocean. So what we kind of want in here is, and I'll just put the place so so it's kind of a to do is, we want to add in here. 
the like I don't know, I have to do add commands for adding users to uh, Azure, right? And so that was the, the set of commands, you know, in here, and it's like uh, a resh provided in Slack. So if we can get that lot out of Slack and into there, then we kind of we kind of have them for reference there. And then, so now we've been through all of this. So then there was this thing that like you were, oh, how can we get Redis and this, that, and the other? So, so now, like the test that you have permissions is to try and do one of these things. Like, let's see if we can create a uh, one of these uh, Redis services. And I think we do, we just give it a, a name, like the, the staging one. So, and the thing is, so we got it, it's like docu, but instead of so this agileventures.dtk, that uh, domain is linked to what's it called? Oh, my brain's exploded. Oh, God, I don't know why it's so hard. The, the, the digital ocean, while we've got this other one that's linked to um, God, Azure. What's it called? Azure, yeah, um, which is the longer URL. Yeah, so I guess now actually, so um, Matt, we kind of have the Redeemify kickoff. Do you know if Alex is around? It is planning for a uh, I'll, I'll check with him. He hasn't typically been or he's not logged in either. So yeah, I was chatting to him earlier today about getting him set up for website one. But um, if I go in async, I'll ping him now. Yeah, just uh, is there anything that we have to? I mean, you've done that video. I guess I kind of probably need to email it to Armando. Is there, is there anything like we need to get into in the Redeemify um, no. kickoff? I guess we might let it let it slide. It's just I, I'm going to be a, a pet teacher parents evening tomorrow, so that's why I asked Rafael to come today. Um, okay. We're going to wait till next week. Yeah. Um, so here we go. So we've got Git. I mean, the the the, the whole architecture of this uh, thing here, Matt, is quite interesting, um, and and then sort of almost irrelevant to the development of the project in some ways. But so we've got here Azure staging. So in principle. Somebody wants to ask me a favor. I'm sure they do. Um, see what I'm doing here, uh, Raphael. So we can just do SSH. I think if we just list the Redis services for, us, for starters. So SSH to that. And then can I do like, at, let's do apps list. Like so. Ugh. That's interesting. Ah, OK, but it's we don't want that. Oh, okay, absolutely this is not a command. Docu help, can I just do help? Uh, there we go. Apps, oh, app, just apps by itself, we'll list them. There we go. Right, so in principle, now you should be able to run this command on your system, Raphael. Yes. You want to share your screen? Uh, just one second. I was just kind of getting everything organized one moment. Oh, no worries. And where's the right window gone? There we are. Yes, first time connecting. Okay. Oh. Right, and then it's saying permission did I public oh, key. You know why though? I've only only one of my SSH keys is set up, and and it's probably on my desktop. I'm in the kitchen on my notepad at the moment. So, um. <laughs> well, if you give me your other SSH, well, it depends. Like, it would be great to check that we that this really. Like, Arrest says that you've been at it, but it'd be great to check that it was the case. In principle, if I follow his instructions, I could get your other key. Do you have your other public key to hand? Uh, to enable you with, like, so like on, on this, if you... Sent it to you also. Oh, the, the, it, was, it was the one of the pair that you originally sent me. Is Correct. That what you're, yeah, Correct. yeah, yeah. So, uh, okay. So if I go and find that then, yeah. So that was the this is the SSH RSA one. 
And if I go and stick that in another window and save that probably into my downloads, uh, and this 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 should be oh gosh what is it oh we'll go now ID DSA so this is ID underscore RSA dot pub right I don't know why does it I hate the way sort of hmm. yeah, or uh, oh, it's not worked on either computer so I'm not sure man. oh really you just oh you 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 just tried on the other computer did you yeah I don't know if you need to restart the instance or, or or what? Hmm. Uh, yes, we've got. Let's see. Let, let's let's go back to uh, Aresh's description of what of how to do this. We've got async voter. So yeah, we've well. got. He's saying. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, the thing to do. So I'll, I'll start with this this step. And I'm I'm going to copy them into the wiki. As we do it as a sort of exercise in self documentation. Uh, right. So I guess it's saying initially I should, uh, beyond this, we have a separate issues with Azure, but anyway, SSH root. No, mm, okay. I, I, he said, so he sort of said that, and it says like, on his one, when he does it here, he tries it and then it says, please log in as user add adventures rather than user root. And I've just tried it here. Mm -hmm. Root. And it should be agile ventures. Which apparently has worked. Yeah, that's interesting. Um, so, Okay, but so I'll just, okay, but then it's, if I do this and I take this command, so I've just added your RSA key there. This one has the SSS, Azure Ventures, what have you, sudo docu, SSH keys, add Raphael. So that 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 I have at least run on, there. Go on. On my notebook, it's the ID. It's the DSA, not the RSA key. Okay. The, the one it, it looks like what um, what's it called? Aresh Aresh did originally was with your DSA. I mean, I, I'll do. I guess both of these again from me. Like yeah. So. Not, neither. Uh, of my keys seem to be working, so I don't know if that's uh, yeah you on my end or well that there there may be all sorts of different things. Let's have a look. I mean, so what I've just done here is it it says to me. I mean, I've tried the RSA one here, and uh, I added this Raphael, and it didn't complain. I then tried to do it for the DSA one as well, and it said no, we can't have the same key name so anyway already been added so well but see this one it didn't complain so and and we'd only worked with your dsa so th th this one the rsa one it looks like there we have potentially added it for the first time but let's go back here okay so now he's showing us another command in which we can in principle list all of the SSH keys. Uh, go on, you monkey. There it is. Right. I mean, you can see why. Um, ah, maybe the duplicate keys is because you've added me as the same username. Both of them. Are... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I just well, yeah. The, it, but it sort of implies like if if Aresh had already added you as Raphael. Then you would have thought that this would complain on the first time. Yeah. Right. But it didn't. I mean, interestingly, here, when he does the SSS key, this seems to show you having been added with some sort of key there. Um, maybe when I, right, right. But he, he did it there with the, um, 
Ah, uh, yeah, but what I'm saying is, is mm -hmm. you've got, uh, see, it's got the key name, uh, line six, it's got the SSA, uh, SHA256 name. Yeah, yeah, no, I think I totally understand that, you know, that this wouldn't work because this the, these have been the same both times. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that, that's, that's I, I, you know, not, I, I don't know that that's necessarily an issue. I mean, we've got you in here. Th this is reporting the same thing. I, I think probably this one didn't respond with anything. It was like, basically, well, this person's already added and we've already done it with this key. I don't know. I mean, I've done that there with ID RSA and it maybe re replaced it this time here. Who, who knows? I mean, more to the point is if, if we've got some representation of the sister and, uh, system and assuming that this is actually the correct public key, then in principle, you know, we would like to think that you can then access the docu stuff. Uh, but what we're seeing so far on, on your machine, I mean, you, the, the one that you're screen sharing at the moment, you're saying that that one is the, um, uh, you, you, the, the, that one is, DS, is DSA? Yes. Yeah. Uh, okay. They're tied on both machines. But you try on both machines and, and the other one is set up with, with RSA. Um, right. Yeah, and I guess the other different things that could be wrong. Um, so you, yeah, you were trying there with SSH, with Docker, Agile Ventures. I mean, the, 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 the SSH route, I would not be surprised to, to not work. I mean, things that you've got there, for example, on your screen at the moment, where you're doing SSH, Agile Ventures, Agile Ventures, East uh, apps, right? That apps command only works if you've got docu at. When we use the docu user, that allows us to give docu commands, if that makes any sense. Got you. Um, so I'm trying it with, yeah, I've, I've, I've tried SSH docu as I ventures, blah, blah, apps, and it's still the permission denied. Publicly. I mean, but I, I, I think that the, the, the solution is not going to be changing away from the docu at Agile Ventures. We need you to be, like, basically, we need you to be able to SSH in through that name in order to be able to operate all of these docu things, right? Yeah. They just, they, they, that, that's what we need. So if the stuff you. that we've done in the background by adding your key hasn't enabled docu at Agile Ventures dot whatever, then we're kind of, we're kind of stuck. I mean, it's, um, yeah, I mean, I can list up in, in my mind, the places that we might have problems is, is one that the key file, you know, might have, might be some, some different thing. I mean, I kind of copied and pasted those things, I, I guess. So there's the problem with the file, there's potentially a problem with the, the name, although like my name's in here as Tansaku, and I can access it. So that seems to work. It seems like probably the thing to do is to, to delete this key. And then try and re-add with like a um, a better version. The, the the laptop that you're on there, that's got the DSA one. Uh, correct. Uh, yeah. Let me double check. Yes, DSA. Um, the other thing is, do we need to to restart the container or anything for those? Maybe, maybe. Um, I like. I mean. But yeah, that they, I'd, be, I'd be surprised. Um, but but yes, and also not sure immediately how to do it. I mean, I, I'm tempted. So now this the DSA pub here. I guess we've, I guess the, the thing to look for here is we've got it's still it's a, we've got as pseudo docu SSH keys add Raphael. Yeah, that that was the public key username. I don't know if there has to be a match between the username and what's in the file, like the pub file. Like we've got the, I mean, there's no mention of the username there. And we've got like the, the DSA one has got Raphael.Kraus at Raphael's MacBook Air local and the IDRSA one has got Kraus.Raphael at gmail.com. And I assume that that's just not, not a, no big deal, really. Um, uh, so I guess, the thing to do here is SSH keys. Can we delete one? I'll remove an SSH key. SSH add minus D. Let's try that. Um, minus D. And we don't need the cat at the beginning. 
sorry, Kat, let's make into this. We do because we need you. Uh, interesting. Hmm. Let's say yeah. the list again. I have failed to do it. I would have thought that there would be like SSH keys removed rather than this minus D. Uh, SSH keys delete. Uh, hmm. You wanna uh, look Uh, yeah, it's removed. According to the documentation, it's like what's in the like like uh, sh keys colon remove. Yeah, I'll, I'll drop in the async voter. Okay, I th okay, I think we've got that. Yeah, so that that does seem to have removed it. And so then, so now if we go back to here, so I'm gonna try I'm gonna try re-adding the DSA thing, which I originally said on. We will. So I'll re-add that, and then we list it again. So what we've got here is this is, I mean, we're, and we're doing docu SSH keys here. Um, yeah, it, it may be that the, 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 the docu container needs to be restarted. And then we've got here. Run a command in docu. Um, docu add SSH keys. Docu add a new SSH key. I sent a Sam, if you wanted me to try it. Oh, that's um, yeah. Uh, you did you put it in Slack? Yeah, in your uh, direct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yeah, let's take that. One thing I'm always, it's, it's maybe better to share the actual file. There's always a danger that if I copy and paste like this one, I mean, I'll save it here and I'll put it in as IDA RSI mat uh, dot hub. Uh, yeah, I mean, I can try. You can actually save it directly from the uh, from Slack, no? I could with yours because you shared the files, but Matt sent me the actual. Um, oh, he, that, like, copy should, yeah, should, should be able to. It should work, but well, yeah, I, I mean, it's it, it, I mean, I think it's it's worth a go because if if um, if his one works, then. Okay, so I'm adding you, Matt, as a user. Okay, I'll try that. Interesting, it didn't it didn't come back with a what it says there. No, and then strangely that hasn't worked actually. It just responded with a nothing, and you're not added. Uh, I mean, I, I, I'm using the exact same command that worked previously for uh, for Raphael. Do you want to try and send me the actual file? Okay. Can I just drag and drop the file into Slack? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. Hmm. Ah, but you've got the, so we can restart the app, but that doesn't restart Doku. But I mean, we can try restarting the app and see if that helps. Um, yeah, I don't know if it's going to make a, 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 list, a change or not, but you know, I'm always a believer of turning things on and off. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I've restarted that, and your um, uh, so well when that finishes, added the file. Thanks, Matt. Um, I'll save that. Download, show in Finder. Oh, I say, what's I'm going to delete? 
Now that's interesting because, yeah, I think that might be the the just the version that I copied and pasted was is a different size from the one that I've just come down from you. So I think that yeah might have been an issue. But so uh, so the the app itself was restarted. Of course, that but I don't know if that's done anything to Doku. Um, I'm yeah. trying to add. Oh, so it's it's saying to me though that the key piped in is not about this is for Matt's key is not a valid SSH public key. Um, um, I'll just look at the, the text editor. Oh, you've sent me the private key, Matt. Oh, whoops. Whoopsie. <laughs> I, will, I will delete that. Okay. Um, you have to regenerate your, pri your, your key pairs, Matt. Well, I don't <laughs> think it did. So at least not, it will at some point, not, not immediately, but uh, it's only at some yeah, point. I, I, yeah. Okay. Uh, right. Oh, gosh, what's this? Come on. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll regenerate that. Well, th yeah, don't do it. I mean, let's at least check with this one that. Yeah. So, I just no, no, again, what you've done there, Matt, is you've given me a plain text snippet. You haven't actually given me the file. So, oh, what you need to do is drag and drop the file into the the slack for it for me to get the file rather than the contents of the file which then may have line ending changes and this that and the other and but i did uh that's not how it's worked out i get a very different look at my screen yeah right? it says added this plain text snippet but when i get it from um I mean, maybe just differences in your system when Raphael did it here it's like oh no it, well, it, it added a comment on this it does turn it over to a plain text snippet oh well i'm sorry and then maybe yeah, it's funny. It, it, okay, you yeah, know, maybe it's fine. Maybe it's fine. Sorry. Uh, maybe it was. I was just looking at it and I couldn't seem to see the download option, and I was thinking it was somehow different. No, ignore me. I was. I was thinking I was just getting that wrong. No, you've done the right thing there. Let me now try one more time here. Okay, so in principle, then Matt, you should be able to. Um, okay, I got the command. Well, the, 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 now the command that like you just run for the list of list of apps. Yeah, I've got it. I just try it. You got, you got the command. Okay, yeah. So you try that command. Um, do you want to try that as well, Raphael? No, see now, yeah. So we with Raphael, we, we rebooted the individual app, but we haven't re rebooted the Docker container. Um, uh, so we've got Docker and SSH. Time out on me. Documentation, application management, user management. I've got description there. Yeah, right. But so you want to share your screen, Matt? Sure. The operation timed out. Let me. Uh, oh, really? Like you can't access the. Let me try to ping it. Um, I'll try. Well, just sh share your screen so that we can yeah, see. Yeah, I'm trying. There it is. Um. So I mean, I guess. I mean, the implication from the. Okay, so Matt's got that there. Yeah, so, okay, so Matt, that's not the right command. So oh. it ha there has to be SSH docu at Agile Ventures. Right? So here, we're not logging in as you as Matt. By oh. doing SSH docu at Agile Ventures, we're logging in kind of as the docu user and then. Um, Kind of accessing one of the docu commands, which is the the apps, there. But so yeah, it's a, 
and you've got agileventures.east.us. And it, did you did you type that out or did you copy and paste it into the command line? Oh, I, I got a typo. I yeah, you've got like C L A U D. Yeah. So yeah, the, the the thing to do is like if you I, I, I would. Uh, oh, so now that's worked for you. Yeah. So we have a positive there, Raphael, that that in principle can work. Can work. I guess what I'm tempted to do there, Matt, is delete that key since potentially the um, you know the, you might want to regenerate the part private key, and I'll okay. You know, I'll send it to you again. I can, I can add it to you, you again at some point. Just okay. So the implication of that. Now, Rafa, you're muted. So, if you're trying to say something, I we're not hearing it. But um, the implication for that is that you know, having added this key, you should, in principle, be able to have access, assuming that your laptop or system or what have you has the correct key. But maybe there's something in the configuration of your laptop uh, or desktop that the keys are not quite set up, so that when your SSH, I guess what we yeah. would like to do is maybe run a, a diagnostic on your SSH. To work out which key it's trying to connect with. Do you know what I mean? Sure. Um, I use too many keyboards. Okay. I'm just going to remove the. There's only one as your reference. Yeah. I didn't think Raphael was doing it as Daku either. Well, he tried several. Oh, he, okay. did, he started he did. on the first one as Doku, um, and but all of them have said permission denied to okay. him. But so the fact that it's saying permission denied here suggests to me that the, the SSH on Raphael's machine is contacting to the server and then it's you know trying to say, look, here's a here's a it's offering a public key, right? But I think the public key that it's offering can't match the one that we have on the server, right? So the what I would but I can do the list here, and I can see that, like the SHA two five, I can see like the kind of hash for the key that is supposed to be able to work, and the one that we saw that Matt worked for Matt. But so I'm just thinking, is there not like a local SSH diagnostic command that would, so you've got like ID DSA, or so you've got ID DSA there? Yes. Is but now, so how can we like? Go on. I was just going to check. Does it not match DSA keys as opposed to RSA keys? Well, I don't know that it matters. It DSA. I think the key thing is that, like, we've got this. Can you see on my screen, right? We've got this SHA two five six. We've got like a hash of the public key, right? Yes. And that would need to match, like, you know, have do we get the same kind of checksum for your? ID DSA there. Okay. Uh, Why does it say DSS instead of DSA? He's using a diff slightly different. He's using DSS rather than RSA. I mean, it may be that it oh. has to be RSA. Maybe it has. Could be because DSA is actually deprecated by Open SSH now. Let's say here. Yeah. Keys. Yeah. All the examples from Doku are the RSA. So I guess at least one thing to try here is if I remove if I remove you from the list and I add the RSA one. Um, and then, Raphael, if you went to your other laptop and tried to 
SSH in through the IDRSA thing. So you got your desktop with you, right? Uh, yes. Uh, sorry, just one second. I was just going to try something, but it's probably better I move to the other computer. Hmm. Uh, Feel free to drop out of the Hangout there and come back in on the other computer. Um, now, my attempt to add your RSA key locally is kind of um, is failing. And it seems like the RSA key is not. And I'm getting the same sort of like just no response that I was getting from um, Matt before when I had a badly formed key. Okay. Well, let me let me drop out and I'll come right back on. Great. Um, oh, come on, brain. What am I looking now? I want to look for Raphael's individual thing here. Right, because he's got, this is the RSA pub key from him. That one, show him finder one. Hmm. Slightly different size. Yeah. Ever that was ever so slightly a different size. One byte. Okay, so I'll just uh, okay. There. Okay. Right, Raphael. Like I just uploaded your public, and it's actually finally given me the kind of like green light for your. RSA key to be working. So are you on your um, desktop now? Yes, I am. Yeah. So do you so, want to share your screen and then try that docu uh, command again? Sure. Give me uh, just one moment because I've just got too many windows open and sort of slides. Right, take time. Take time. Yeah, not a problem. So I carry on with something else, maybe, and come back to yeah, this no, I'm moment, if you can. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess the, uh, yeah, well, the, I mean, uh, uh, Matt, I the, the, the whole infrastructure thing here is kind of interesting. Um, yeah. I was I was actually also, well, on, on Matt, I was going to say there was an interesting point that you made in the marketing channel about the um, fundraising events. There's also some discussion in, a a B, in the AV community chat channel um, about different sorts of fundraising that you might want to have a look at. Um, yeah, I just joined that too. Uh, I have success. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. So it could be the possibly be the the, uh, the the type of key it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In, indeed, and and I, th I think there's a uh, yeah. But so and, and I, I uh, but yeah. Do you want to share your screen? Um, because sure. what we could, uh, so you've got a list of apps there now, did you? Uh, yes, I do. Let me just go to this one. Share. There we go. Cool. So you can you can see there in the. Let me just make that clear. Uh. I get permission denied now, Sam. Yeah, I deleted your oh, previous yeah. one, and I, I haven't re-added the new one yet. Um, OK, yeah, yeah. So you see the staging app. So in principle now, uh, Raphael, you could run this command to create a Redis service um, yeah. in the the system. So what I would I would do, and, and call I would call it async voter staging. Um, so this is this is the command that I would I would try and run there. Sure, and that was um, so uh, it's. I think. 
something like that. Yeah, exactly. So just this is there's the name of the app, and then there's the name of the Redis instance. And what we've done on the on the Digital Ocean is try to um, had just have those be the same. So I mean, you could just hit up there, by the way, just to get the previous because it's almost identical. Uh, and if you yeah. delete the word apps, yeah, no, no, keep keep there, yeah. And then so you do Redis colon create, and then exactly async voter hyphen staging. And we're just following the instructions, you know, in the setting up new apps thing here. Okay, so it looks like we already. I may, I may have done it previously. Um, and then the next one will be to link the service in the app. So hit up again, yeah. And then now you do link, and let's have async voter hyphen staging. And then it needs to be twice async voter hyphen staging. Ah, okay. Okay, so it it looks like the the Redis is provisioned and linked up, but so that those would be like if we want to go and get subsequently get the async voter production. So then the next thing to do would be to go and uh, do the like the environmentless like step four in the. Yes. How do I go get on. the Redis? Oh, so I think oh, it's now you do like Redis colon list. I think so. If you hit up uh, oh. twice and get back to. No, go back one. Here you go. Uh, let's go here. And go yeah, Redis. yeah, Redis, Redis list, maybe. Uh, there was a way that I, I think it's like Redis inf. There's like getting info on one of the. Um, I did go through this previously. Have we got this there? Redis in here. <laughs> There we go. There you go. There you go. Yeah. So that gives you the Redis URL that then needs to be set in the environment variables, and the other environment variables like the client idea, whatever, all need to come from Slack. From Slack. And in principle, with all of those put through, we could actually run our. Um, I mean, there may be other fiddly bits in Slack, but we could actually run a kind of complete round trip on Azure. And then the next step would be to move on to making the production and, and switching it over completely. So that's the the environment variable I need to set now, right? Yeah, but there where it says Redis colon slash slash up yes. to async voter staging colon six three seven nine. Um, like if I go back here to our in instructions, then like you see where I'm highlighting here on on my screen. So these. These are the the four like these are the set of the environment variables that we just set. Yes, and we need to get these three from uh, Slack, and then this Redis URL is that there. Okay, and actually, I put the in the docs here, so you can get the correct Redis URL, and that was the command that you just used. Yes, perfect. And then I've got here. This was this is stuff I added previously about this is the place that you need to go in Slack in order to get those the ID, the secret, the verification token, and so on. Yes. Um, so yeah, I think I better better uh, drop out there. Um, it's also if we're, if we're like for setting these tokens, we probably shouldn't do that in a recorded session. Yes. I was just thinking that maybe I can have a play with this now. Yeah. And comment on channel. How sure. Well, and, and if you want to, if 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 Matt, if you're if you if you're interested in looking at that process and with. Um, uh, with Raphael, you guys could create like a private hangout. Like, you know, you can use, if you ever want to create a private hangout, right? You know, you can use YouTube Live. So you can use like this URL just to, to generate, like as long as you have it set to quick here, this is how I generate the uh, hangouts for the uh, the mob sessions and so on, or anytime I need to have a private discussion, uh, you can create that here. I mean, you could just create a normal hangout through whatever mechanism. But anyway, I'll, I'll leave that up to you if you guys want to, uh, hook up further on that. Oh, okay. Right. Thanks. I'll um, give yeah. you a message, Matt, if you're up for that. Yeah, I'm. I'm free. So. Awesome. If you awesome. create one, just slack it to me. And yeah, do, um, let's take this offline. I'll chat to you in a private message, and we'll organize yeah. the um, we'll organize the the details of that there. Great. Excellent. Excellent. Nice one, guys. Uh, catch you later. Okay. Thanks, Dan. Good, good big breakthrough there. Well done. Thanks for your help, Matt. Bye, Rafael. See you soon. Bye. Ciao. Man.